Good afternoon. Today is the 30th of October and uh, it is exactly two years and uh, 11 months since um, I bought this 2014 MG3 1.5 style. Now this is a car which you would have seen a lot on the channel. It was the second ever video that was uploaded um, back in September 2018 and uh, in the time that we've owned this car um, which is uh, starting from the 30th of November uh, 2016 uh, we've covered about 29,000 miles. This is the car which actually um, was responsible for me entering to some of the uh, you know bits of YouTube that I never ever have got into. Um, it's been reviewed by two other channels so far. I don't know how many more want to review this car, but we've had two so far. Um, had Furious Driving and JM on Cars review this car, and uh, I'll put the links to those reviews in the description below if you uh, want to see them. It's now covered just under 62,000 miles. I've bought it at 33,000 miles. And the reason we bought this car actually was because uh, my lady wife um, hadn't even passed her driving test at the time. And uh, we weren't even engaged at that point. So um, I bought something that had low insurance um, that was relatively easy to drive. Um, and, uh, you know, was a decent size for uh, somebody who was a new driver. Now we don't particularly need um, so many of those things anymore. But let's uh, have a little look about what this car has actually been like to own since um, November 2016. Let's uh, open her up and take a, take a look, excuse me. This is a very early MG3. Um, this is before um, the first mild facelift, which introduced start-stop technology. Although the cars are very similar, the only difference externally on um, a uh, what they call a stop-start MG3, which were introduced in about January 2016, was that um, on the grille you've got a little chrome strip at the bottom. As you can see, this car doesn't have that. And um, to the right of the steering wheel, um, the start-stop button um, is about there. You see in this car, it's not there because it doesn't have it. When we sell this car, which we are, you know, thinking of doing, um, we will probably miss the fact that it's quite a compact car. It's got a long wheelbase, but it's quite compact, and yet it's quite spacious. There's plenty of room in the back. I mean, for things like that, you can watch a full review I did of this car. I should point out the legroom and headroom and folding the seats and things like that. But yes, it's a, one of the most spacious cars in its class. It's actually got more room in it than a Fiesta, um, certainly the older model Fiesta, when this car was new in 2014. One of the things that um, marks this one out, as opposed to a later model, um, there was a facelift in... September 2018 is uh, this this dashboard and the radio and things like that. Also, we've got the sort of cubby hole. Later cars don't have that. Some cars had red um, rings round the um, uh, vents. This has just got silver ones. And uh, this has an entirely different gear lever from the MG3 press cars that were given out to people like Ian Seabrook, Planet Auto, um, there was uh, one the Car Obsession did, um, there was a particular form of sport model that um, was uh, a start-stop one, it's a early 2016 car, so it's BX65 MHN, and that's on loads of videos. One of the things they did with the start-stop models was introduce um, a uh, different coloured roof um, from the body colour of a car which is something you couldn't get on these earlier cars. We fitted um, these alloy gator rim protectors because it's incredibly easy to curb these diamond cut alloy wheels on this style model. 
There's also a style uh, Lux or a style plus, depends on the model year as to which one, which way round that is, I can never remember. And that was also the most common car that you saw with the optional IGO sat nav, which sat in that cubby hole um, that I showed you a bit earlier on. Let's have a look at the um, side of the glove box. So on a post facelift car, um, i.e. a post 2018 model, this is a lot smaller. This is a huge glove box. Um, and that's something that I will miss. So what I don't miss is obviously these kind of hard plastic door tops, the general kind of dark darkness of, um, of the dashboard. It's not the most inspiring place. And of course, these tiny little heater controls with the uh, locking buttons and the integrated in, which are terrible. Um, also, the Hazlux, which is in a terrible place. I don't know why they did that. They've correct about the later models. The boot is 285 litres, it's about the same size as the previous generation Fiesta. Um, you could get a spare wheel, although that was just an optional extra. This car, just like most of them, has the um, tyre tire inflation kit in it, because uh, that's all you've got as standard. I'll jump cables in there, obviously my uh, Avengers lorry Johnson CD with a new Avengers umbrella in there, that's very important. We've also um, put these uh, mirror extensions on there because when they actually imported this car to this country, and this is actually um, one that was partially assembled in Longbridge, I'll see if I can find the plaque for this because there it is. I'll just prove to you that it was a uh, Longbridge um, final assembly car, they weren't all entirely assembled in Longbridge, they were only partially assembled there, but um, until 2016, um, so this is obviously being the earlier one, this was actually uh, inspected by people in Birmingham, which I've always thought is great, it's one of the reasons I bought this car was because of uh, the fact I've had loads and loads of Rovers, and I do like Rovers, and um, this comes from the same place, and a lot of the design work on these cars was done in Longbridge. Let's have a look under the bonnet and see what lovely power plant we've got underneath. This is the 1.5 four-cylinder um, twin cam 16-valve engine that all MG3s have. The post-facelift cars, that means from post-August 2018, have a different valve cover and a slightly different layout. One of the solenoids is different, but... They produce all of the engines, 105 horsepower in this market, um, and uh, not very much torque. 0 to 60 about 10.5 seconds. Um, top speed's about 110 miles an hour, I think. And not that I would ever do that in this car. Um, the fuel economy is about 42 miles per gallon um, over the course of the time we've had this car. One of the things that marks us out as a pre-facelift one, as pre-2018, is the fact that there are these uh, separate daytime running lights, which I think look really nice. On a facelift car, they're integrated into the headlamp units, which don't look as distinctive as my opinion, although they give you a sort of cleaner, more modern look. In terms of problems with this car, um, we had to have um, the fuel pump replaced at about 49,000 miles. Um, that was in May 2018 when the car was exactly four years old. Um, that failed on the M25, which was a bit embarrassing. It was about £100 to get a genuine one from the Visual MG dealership that um, we bought this car. Um, Apple MG, which is in Gravesend. Um, they were very good actually about getting it out to me very quickly. The independent garage where I'd had the service done the previous week would not get one for me. I had to get it myself. We've also had a, a fuel filter fail on the car, which um, you know was just a maintenance issue. Just somebody had not done it properly, service the car properly, and changed it, which of course has been changed. It wasn't difficult to sort of get. The main problem with the car is the bodywork of this dent there. I'm sure you could pull that out if you really wanted to. Um, there are also a few smaller dents and. The paint does suffer a bit from chipping, there's a little chip that's come off. I've got a paint stick somewhere, but um, you know, that's not something I'm concerned about at the moment, really. Um, so far, but uh, you know, it's been very good. It's, we've had this car almost three years. Um, 
it has been generally very reliable it's not that um, expensive to service it really isn't um, that difficult to live with this being a style model one down for the top of the range it's got everything apart from leather seats so um, cruise control Bluetooth DAB radio steering wheel controls parking sensors um, and uh, yes it's got a hell of a clutch but I've never actually worked how to use it <laughs> stupid um, that's my fault really and the Darwin Cardello wheels um, unless you get a quick fit you actually can get tires to this car it's not a problem um, the front brakes were replaced by Mr. Coleman, a rubbish mechanic at 60,000 miles, which is brilliant. They actually really were the original discs and pads, we found out. So the car's not as cheaply made as some people claim it is. And, you know, we've lived with this car for, you know, a long time now, and it means a lot to us, but it is going to have to go. Um, clearly, um, this is somebody who's been very influential in the, the life of this YouTube channel, um, and you'll we should no doubt be seeing him again at some point soon. Um, so thank you, Mr. Seabrook. Seabrook. But if you know anybody does want to actually buy this car from us, and we're very much open to open to that, we're not in a hurry to sell the car. We'll, we'll probably just keep it for a few more months if you know um, um, we don't get any sensible people wanting to buy it. Only sensible people, please. But uh, it's been it's been really good. Um, I use it, a, you know, a few times a week. My lady well, sometimes drives it. She's not a person who enjoys driving particularly, but she's driven four hours all the way up to, um, back from Chester in this car down to down to where we are in Hampshire, and it was fine. Um, fuel tank's a little small, so you'd only get, th say, 350 miles out of a tank. Um, but that's okay. Most small cars are like this, and it's, it's, not as, it's not as cheap and badly made as people say. It actually handles really well. Um, it... Uh, you know, has a quite a harsh ride, but then you, you do get an immensely good steering feel. It's got hydraulic power steering, and I, I, I can't think of any other cars, apart from maybe the Duchess Sandero, that are currently on the market, which actually have hydraulic power steering still. You could buy a brand new MG3 for about nine and a half thousand pounds, although the one model you want is probably 11, 11 toss, something like that. Um, I've got a full review of the 2019 model obviously on my channel as well um, that's about it really so if you found my video to be uh, informative um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you um, haven't already done so there's more MG content to come this week more modern MG content because I know a lot of you really like that and this is a car that, that for, for me started it all um, uh, don't forget to like this video and to leave a comment below and um, there's a Facebook page if people want to see that, facebook.com forward slash Lord Consulting. But I'll say once again, um, thank you ever so much indeed for watching.